Our goals are your best results, avoiding radical surgery, maintaining your sexual and urinary function, and your life. Most insurances, Medicare, Medicaid accepted. Call Dr. Lederman at 212 Choices, 212 Choices, for a fresh second opinion and free booklet DVD. Not only super convenient, super in Manhattan, 38th and Broadway. To hit the cancer, call Dr. Lederman, 212 Choices. Cherish your life. Custom prostate cancer treatment with Dr. Lederman, 212 Choices. Welcome back to the Radio Surgery Hour. This is Rob Redstone here with Dr. Gil Lederman at the WOR Studios in the heart of New York City. We're just a few steps from the Radio Surgery New York Cancer Treatment Center on Broadway and 38th Street. Dr. Lederman, the leading cancer expert, treats prostate cancer non-invasively. He was the first in New York with fractionated brain radio surgery, and he's the first in America and in the Western Hemisphere with body radio surgery. You can also call Dr. Lederman at 212 Choices for a free informative booklet and DVD. Hey, Dr. Lederman, we're back. We're back. We're uh, welcoming you back. And uh, as I say, you're welcome to call us if you have questions. I'm talking about another gentleman we saw this week. Actually, this gentleman came and saw uh, my colleague, Dr. Eisen, who's specializing in treating uh, Spanish-speaking patients. This patient had Hodgkin's disease. He's a young man. is about 45 years old, handsome man, bilingual, Spanish-English, we saw him back in November and recommended treatment at a huge mass. The mass is like a Chicago softball in his neck, in his left neck, going down into his chest. He had treatment 15 years ago for Hodgkin's. Again, this is one of those cases where the patient didn't even know what kind of cancer he had precisely. Everyone told me he had non-Hodgkin's, and he thought for 15 years he had non-Hodgkin's. Well, he came to us. We got the results from 15 years ago. We gave him a copy, so he had it in his hand. Hodgkin's disease, which is a kind of lymphoma, often very treatable and very curable. We staged him up, and then he didn't come back. We didn't understand it. And my colleague, Dr. Eisen, kept calling him once a week, tried to find him, call him, contact him, letters. And finally, he came back this week with this mass, which looked bigger, and you'd expect it to be bigger, and cancers in six months grow. And I said, just, I don't understand you're a young man, you're a handsome man. The cancer is localized. This should be treated. Why isn't it being treated? And then he said to me, Doc, I don't have any place to stay. If I had a bed to stay in, I would feel more comfortable and get going with the treatment. So at that moment, I saw him in my office, Dr. Eisen at my side, he can attest to this, and the patient can attest to this. I made a few calls made arrangements. The same day, we got the patient a place to sleep. And now he's coming in this week to start his treatment. So we believe we do things differently. We're involved with patients. It's not the secretary or a machine that answers the phone or human beings. We deal with the patient. It's not students and not residents. It's doctor to patient. It's a private cancer treatment center, and our goal is to treat each person as if they are our boss because, in fact, they are our boss. We don't get money, tens of millions of dollars from drug companies. We don't give one penny from drug companies or from anyone else. There's no secret hands, and there's, we've given you reports about big cancer and other hospitals that get tens of millions of dollars from drug companies. Guess what for? And the presidents and the doctors get oodles of money for guess what for? No. At Radio Surgery New York, here, Dr. Lederman, Dr. Eisen, there's no secret hands. You're our boss, not someone else, not some strange company pushing chemotherapy. So for this man, he came to us, we analyzed the problem, closed the door, sat down, spent time, he was able to vent, cry, made arrangements for him to get a bed, to get treatment. We hope that he gets back on his feet. We hope that we contribute to his getting back on his feet in a healthy way. So that summarizes how we are probably very different than all the other doctors, and there were many other doctors that he's seen in the last six months, and no one was able to get to the root of the problem and take care of him, thank God, like we were able to. 
Some people say, they call me up and they say, what do you do? What do you do? Well, we're not like a one trick dog. We sit down with each patient and each patient's different. Each patient has their own history, their own story, their own circumstances. Whether it's newly diagnosed cancer, whether it's recurrent cancer, whether it's pain, whether it's bleeding or it's metastasis in the brain or the liver or the adrenal or the lung or the spleen or the kidney or the sarcoma or melanoma, each patient is different. And so treatments can vary too. So when people call up and say, what do you do? Really, the only intelligent answer is, look, come in, sit down, spend some time together. Let's analyze your case in a thoughtful way and come up with the best options for you. So if you're thinking about calling us, do call us, 212-CHOICES. Make an appointment. Spend an hour or two. We'll get all your documents if you need to be staged up or see what's happened before or see where the cancer is now. Call us up, 212-CHOICES, 212-246-4237, 212-246-4237. Make an appointment and come in. But, but I'm going to give you a case to summarize what we do. So let's take a listen to this case. This man, a 56-year-old man, came in with us with his girlfriend and his daughter in January. So just a few months ago, he had colon cancer. Now, I've talked about this man before. In 2006, he went to his doctor complaining of rectal bleeding. In fact, he complained for three and a half, four years that he was having blood from his rectum. And three and a half, four years... He was told, oh, it's just hemorrhoids. Do you think anyone ever looked to see if it was hemorrhoids? No. No one ever looked. They assumed it was hemorrhoids. And assumptions are dangerous things. And this man, in 2006, after a three and a half, four year delay, finally was sent for colonoscopy. Colonoscopy was attempted. But by then, the cancer was so massive, it was obstructing even the little colonoscope. He had severe bleeding, very narrow caliber stool, because the stool had to go through a little, 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 little hole. He had surgery, and at surgery, his cancer had already traveled to the liver. There were two liver metastases. The chemo was started, and then they put in a pump to infuse chemo into the liver, The pump failed. It poisoned the duodenum. He was hospitalized for damage to his duodenum. He got infected, like I've talked about before, with a super infection from super bugs in a super hospital. And he was hospitalized for more than a month trying to fight the infection that he got from the hospital. Then the cancer spread. He had another surgery to remove the cancer in that site. And it spread again. And he had surgery again. Now, by the time he had come to us, this was going on about a decade, three, three and a half years or so, totally missed, and then being operated upon to remove tumor by tumor, uh, hepatic pump failure with severe side effects. He came in, I saw him, he's 200 pounds, pretty strong man, works heavy equipment, had his girlfriend, had his daughter, obviously there's a lot of love in that room, and he heard about radio surgery, just like you're hearing about it tonight. There were three spots of cancer. We staged them up. We found out exactly where the cancer was. One spot was in the inguinal node of the groin, so down in your groin, one node. And two were by the hip bone, called the psoas or iliac fossa. He wanted to go ahead with radiosurgery. Radiosurgery, again, is no cutting, no bleeding, no anesthesia, no nothing. You lay on a table, B moves around the cancer, hits the cancer, usually five treatments. Each treatment's about 15 minutes. We treated these three sites in just two sets of sessions, so we gave him three for two. He came in this week with a new PET scan. He came in, he had the PET scan, we got on the phone. We have he has the copies of the disc. He actually has three copies of the disc. We he I spoke to the radiologist. We went site by site. Each site of cancer totally obliterated. And no new sites. Fantastic. Fantastic. No cutting, no bleeding, no super infections, no complications. Three sites 
two sets of treatment, cancer's gone, in remission, doing well, doing heavy construction machinery work, getting in married this summer in August. That's what radio surgery is about, giving someone a second chance when standard radiation or standard chemo or surgery doesn't work or isn't tolerated. So for this man, he actually called our show. We have a Saturday morning show, and our next show after this is Saturday morning at 5 to 6 a.m. on WABC 770. He called in our Saturday morning show to talk about this situation. He verified what I said, and we're going to see him next in three months. We're getting our next report card, hopefully prove to him and prove to us that he's still in remission, the treatment worked, no side effects, and that's what we're here for. Trying to give better care, less invasion, faster, let people live their life. He has metastatic cancer, stage four. He's working, getting married, living a normal life. If you saw him on the streets of New York coming over to us, you'd think he was one more man working, doing his thing, and never imagined in a million years he has stage four cancer, now in remission, thanks to radio surgery. We'll talk about some uh, new cases. <clears throat> I uh, want to give a uh, paper to you. There's a paper about esophageal cancer. We're going to talk about several patients after our next short little break. But this paper was uh, presented on April 25th this year, and it showed that people who smoke and drink are twice as likely to develop esophageal cancer as those who only do either smoking or drinking. So previous research has shown that smoking and drinking are risk factors for esophageal cancer. This seems to be the first study to show the risk associated with smoking and drinking are combined. This was published on April 22nd in the American Journal of Gastroenterology. Dr. Prabhu um, said, our study suggests that not only do alcohol and tobacco play an important role in the development of esophageal cancer, but the combination of their use markedly increases their potency as carcinogens. This year, 18,000 Americans are diagnosed with esophageal cancer. And how do you know you have it? Well, difficulty swallowing, the food doesn't go down, some pain, some obstruction, some bleeding. Run, don't walk. Come on in, either to us or your own doctor, get worked up. Because early esophageal cancer has a pretty good success rate. Unfortunately, 15,000 people die of esophageal cancer each year. Uh, the lifespan of people is improving, and the cure rate is improving. It's gone up significantly in the last 20 years, but it, doesn't, it hasn't gone up enough. So please stop smoking. If you're a 30-year-old and you stop smoking today, you will live 10 more years. Wow. Wouldn't you like to... Just get 10 more years of life. Stop smoking. If you're a 40-year-old, you stop smoking today, you'll live nine more years. What a gift. So put that cigarette down. Don't buy any more. Don't smoke any more, please. And live longer and healthier. And for those who haven't smoked, please never start. It's a bad habit. It has no redeeming features. We're going to hear from our sponsor, just a short message. Uh, we're at WOR. Our number is 1-800-321-0710 if you have questions. 1-800-321-0710. And here is the man with the golden voice. Here's Dr. Gil Lederman, New York's only Harvard-trained, triple-board certified radiation cancer doctor. If chemo, surgery, or radiation isn't working or isn't tolerated, when cancer and its pain and symptoms aren't getting better, seek a fresh second opinion at Radio Surgery New York's Urgent Cancer Consultants for innovative, custom-tailored cancer treatment. See our experts within one business day because we know your time and your life are precious. Our goal is proper diagnosis and effective, non-invasive outpatient treatment. Decades of leadership, first in New York with brain radio surgery, first in America with body radio surgery for cancers of the brain, body, and prostate, all custom tailored for you. Call 212 Choices, 212 Choices for a prompt appointment and free booklet DVD. Super convenient, 38th and Broadway, with most insurances, Medicare, Medicaid accepted. You're next at Radio Surgery New York. 
Just call 212 Choices. 212 Choices.